Well, hello. I know it has been quite some time, but I thought today, since I had some time, I would film a what's been going on. So it's really weird. I'm having a hard time getting this video started. It's been so long since I filmed. I uh, just checked. The last time I filmed was before Christmas. And um, I think I talked about some stuff that was going on with Adam and that we were starting keto together, which, by the way, did not work for us. Um, he just couldn't get past the keto flu. It lasted for weeks and weeks and weeks, and it just wasn't working right for him. So we've just gone back to kind of a, eating a healthy type of diet. Um, I'm going to, I don't want this to be a super long video, but I've got, I mean, it, we're in April now, so it's two weeks till my 51st birthday and I cannot believe I'm about to turn 51. Um, but I thought I just kind of, we had a great Christmas. I hope you guys did too. I know I'm way past that now and a happy new year. Um, I know I had mentioned to you guys that we were going on a cruise, um, the Monsters of Rock cruise, which we did get to go on. I'm happy to report. It was absolutely fabulous, but, um, I had a little bit of a problem getting ready and you know a couple of times I thought about picking up the camera and filming some of the stuff it just my life was so crazy and I just didn't know if I'd have time to edit it and get it uploaded and all of that and everything just seemed to be going so fast um, as you know I started weight loss I think it was last the end of July maybe beginning of August um, since then I've lost about 43 pounds I went from a comfortable 810 um, I am now tops are small to extra, extra small to small and the bottoms are depending on the brand and if there's any stretch in them anywhere from a double zero to a two um, that posed to be a bit of a problem when packing for my cruise now if you guys have been with me for a while and we re rewind to last summer I had done a giant clothing haul <clears throat> excuse me at the end of the season thinking I was going to be buying all of these clothes that I could take with me on my cruise um, unfortunately, n well, or, or fortunately, however you want to look at it, none of it fit me. Absolutely nothing. Um, and if you've been with me for the last few years, you know that I am an avid clothing shopper. I shop a lot. I love clothing. I love new clothing. I love trying new styles. Um, I was not able to wear anything in my closet. Anything. Even down to my bras and underwear. My bra before was a 38C snug. I'm now about a 34B to C, depending on the bra. Um, I remember walking to the bathroom one day, uh, getting ready for the work, and Adam said, you know, I think you need to buy some new underwear. So um, it was my entire wardrobe had to be revamped. Now I had, you know, going into winter, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. As I was going into winter, that was the time of season that it was. So finding new jeans and sweaters and coats and jackets and all of that stuff was easy but I was getting ready to go on a Caribbean vacation and I was packing for this in February where no stores had anything even remotely seasonal specific for me for where I was going. Um, so I kind of did this huge shopping haul from everywhere I could think of online, anything possible, really not knowing what my sizes were because I had lost, you know, I was, I was thinking, okay, well, maybe a six petite. So I'd order six petites. They were too big. So I went to four petites, brought them in and you know, they were too big. So, and I did some Poshmark shopping too, which was, you know, you can't return those things if they don't fit. So I've got a ridiculous amount of fours and sixes that I cannot wear. I cannot wear them at all that I am going to have to get rid of. Um, so it, 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 you, know, you have to wait for those things to come. You have to try them on and all of that stuff. So it was a mad rush to find clothing that I could wear that would be summer-like for my cruise because we were gone for nearly a week. Um, now, obviously, we're into April. Everybody's bringing out their spring and summer stuff, so it's a whole lot easier. And I'm able to kind of start thinking about my... And I've done a lot of shopping. Um, but in in the stuff that I took, I just kind of took lots of different pieces and tried to make... It was a... Con, it was a it was a rock and roll concert that was unbelievable. It was not relaxing in any way, shape, or form. It was the first vacation that Adam and I had taken in like six years. Um, we it was we saw thirty concerts in five days. It was running from one end of the ship to the next. We thankfully we did go VIP, so we didn't have to wait in a lot of lines. 
Um, but it was concert after concert after concert. And we were falling into bed 12, 1 a.m. to wake up the next morning and do it yet again. And the good news is I didn't gain an ounce on my trip. Um, I did find, you know, I've been gluten-free for two years now. And I, when I booked the cruise, I did tell them that, you know, we have eating restrictions, whatever. And I think they just kind of go by a percentage of the people. So there were some gluten-free options. Not a lot, but I guess that also helped me not overeat. I kind of stuck with vegetables and protein and didn't gain an ounce on the trip. So that worked really well for me. Um, and I was averaging at least 20,000 steps a day, running to and from concerts, jumping up and down, dancing, singing, you're running up and down stairs because you're trying to get to the concert in time and you don't have time to wait for the elevator. So it's only six floors. By day four, the only six floors did seem a little bit more, oh, do we really want to climb six floors or that type of thing? But you know, time related, we would climb the six floors and run down the six floors or run back to the cabin real quick. And, and in between concerts, we would go grab something to eat really quick at the Windjammer. Two nights we did eat, three nights. Three nights we ate in the main dining area. Uh, one night it was just the two of us and it was a nice kind of romantic dinner. And then the other two nights we joined other people from the cruise because you can get in there faster. And that's so fabulous because everybody there is like-minded with you. You talk about the concert, you talk about music, you talk about your past, you talk about your now and you make new friends and I've been on several cruises now I want to say seven or eight and we're going to be doing this one again for sure this was more fun than any other cruise I've been on um, we did stop in two ports in Cozumel and uh, the Bahamas but we literally got off the ship just to stretch our legs for two hours and got back on the ship to go watch more concerts it was just I don't even know how to explain. If you are like rock and roll, you need to check this concert out and this, this cruise ship out because it is, it's once a year. We are absolutely going next year. I'm waiting for the moment that it goes live to book because it will be booked. That's not to say I won't go on any other cruises again. Um, so if you're looking for that tropical vacation where you're doing, um, you know, what is it called? The the things that you do on the ship, on the Isla island, I can't the word has left my mind. Um, you're all screaming it at me right now, but I can't. Excursions. There we go. Um, and we've done those in the past, and they've been wonderful. Swimming with sea turtles, going out on catamarans, going through in the, the caves. And, you know, we've done all those things. And they've been wonderful and great experiences. This is something all on its own. This is a whole nother, it's a whole different type of vacation. And, but anyway, um, packing for that did did pose some serious problems for me. Um, there's very few items that I, in my closet or my drawers or my clothing collection that I can wear that I wore before last year. And, and they're just like oversized sweaters, that type of thing. So um, I, I think I'm just gonna kind of close down my Poshmark. It takes way too much time to take pictures, upload, answer all the questions about measurements from pit to pit or inseam length or whatever. And I'm just gonna take all of these clothing, the, all these clothing pieces. I've given away what I can. The people that, that want it, that needed it, I've given away what I can. I think I'm just gonna take it up to this consignment shop that's up here or maybe send it all into ThreadUp, I don't know. But it's an unbelievable amount of clothing. And if you've been with me over the last few years, you know how many pieces of items of clothing, that was redundant, how many pieces of clothing I have purchased in the last five years or so. And I'm having to start absolutely from scratch. So, um, but it is kind of fun now because I get to kind of reinvent how I want to look, the styles that I want to wear. Um, I'm starting, I want to walk into my closet and love everything and not be like, oh, I don't like that anymore. I don't like that anymore. I mean, none of that fits me. So even my winter coats, everything is gone. I've had to start completely from scratch, but I'm not complaining. Um, I get a whole new wardrobe and I feel a whole lot better. So <clears throat> that is, you know, January, February, you just kind of work. You know, I didn't really do much of anything, but get ready for the cruise. The cruise was the first week in March and it like kind of gives me this pang now of I miss it. I, I you know just when I look at the pictures, the pictures come up with those digital frames, uh, the Google Homes or whatever all over the house, and all these pictures from the concerts come up or out of an eye and just I'm like, oh, I miss it so bad and it's been a month, you know. So looking forward to booking the next one. We'll probably book some other stuff too because we needed that vacation. And my best friend stayed here with my puppies. So they were all happy and weren't alone the entire time. And my house was taken care of. Um, 
On a sad note, though, the weekend that I got back, um, it was on um, was we we got home late on a Thursday night. Friday and Saturday, I spent doing laundry, trying to get things caught back up because I had to work again on Monday. Sunday, I took the girls that work for me to groomed in Atlanta because I do own a grooming, grooming salon um, so that they could, they've never been and buying new products and whatever. And we got home, um, Adam and I finally got a chance to just whew, decompress. You know, you kind of need a vacation from that type of vacation. <clears throat> I get a phone call. We had just turned the TV on. We were watching an episode of, I think, Young Sheldon or something, and which I love, by the way, and I hate that it's going away. My brother called, and um, I don't talk about him much on my channel because we kind of have a tumultuous relationship, but he was frantic. And his granddaughter, my great-niece, who is five years old, was in the car with her biological father, for a, it was on his vacation, his weekend to have her. And he had just recently started getting her and they were in an accident. He did not have her properly restrained in a car seat. He was, she was just lap belted in. Apparently he was going well over the speed limit, well over 50 miles an hour over the speed limit. T-boned another vehicle, killing three people, including my great niece, my, my brother's grand, youngest grandchild. Um, it was, I don't even know to go from such a high to such a low so quickly. Um, all I could do is grab my shoes, get him a car. And it took us almost, almost an hour to get to the hospital that they were at. Uh, I guess. And when he was saying the words of what happened, I just, I kept thinking I must be misunderstanding what he's saying, you know, but, um, she passed away at the scene. They tried life-saving, you know, they were able to bring her back once and, um, she did not make it. And so I got to the hospital where he was, where my niece was and my great nephew, um, and a few other people that I didn't know actually. Um, so that, that week, so my other niece that lives in another, you know, across the country in Wyoming. Uh, it's her sister. So we flew her out here to be with her sister for the week. And I gave them a few days to be together. And then I went out there on the following Friday and with my daughter and we spent some time with them. And it's been a really rough, um, I, don't, I mean, I don't really even know how to describe, you know, it's, it's a pain with my great niece. It's a pain that my, my brother lost his grandchild. It's a pain that my niece lost her child. And I just can't even imagine waking up each day and going through that day. And she has two other kids, so she has to. That was her youngest of three. So I'm just... If you're a praying person, please send prayers to my niece to help her find some peace in this and be able to still be the mom she needs to be to the other two children that live in her home and just some peace because it doesn't make sense. Um, you know, the father is being charged uh, for three counts of second degree murder, homicide, you know, a whole lot of a, a myriad of, of um, charges, but that doesn't bring her back, you know. Justice does not bring that back. So anyway, um, I'm trying to give her some, I text her from time to time. I see her posts and I send her messages and I, you know, I just know that she's trying to process her grief right now and just send her whatever kind of good vibes, prayers, whatever you can her way. So um, that's the, the down part of that. And um, I did get to see my nieces for a while and yeah. Um, beyond that, um, We've you know, been doing some yard work. It's going on spring. I normally do that in February, but I didn't get the opportunity to do it in February. So this year, and maybe I'll take you outside. Today's overcast. It's supposed to rain. So I've got extra lights on in here so you could actually see my face. Um, there's been new purchases. Um, I did get an entire new bedroom suit. I posted a picture of the bed on my Instagram. It came from Bassett Furniture. I'll show you my room. I was so happy. We've had that other furniture for so long. And it's our first, like, big girl furniture, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, we had it specially made. Sorry, my light just went off on my laptop or my computer here. 
Um, we had it. We, the bed was the floor model that they had discontinued. It's a four poster bed, but I loved the color. I think it's called Saks Fifth Avenue is the color. And then I loved a, another set of dressers and stuff from another line at Bassett. So we had it made to match the same color. So I'll show you that. My room's been completely done. Loving the new furniture. Um, we've had another portion of my backyard done where the garden is. We had that completely fenced in to give the dogs a little more playtime outside. Where I'm with them anyway, but this way they can go out and have some space that's not just around the pool. And which has also allowed us to revamp the garden. Um, we have a major deer issue in my, I live on four and a half acres and in the woods and it's the deer eat everything. So now we've planted some fruit trees, uh, two peach trees and a plum tree. We've got two, have you heard of ice cream banana trees? Um, they're being delivered today. They are, they produce blue bananas that's supposed to taste like vanilla ice cream. So those two will go into the yard this week. Um, and I've done my tomatoes and some other things. I'm not quite done down in my garden area, but I was able to remove the netting <clears throat> so I can release the blackberry bushes to do a little bit more. And I think I've got some cucumbers growing, or I planted cucumbers, watermelon, tomatoes, a couple different varieties of tomatoes, and there'll be more to come. So just doing some outside work. Um, my work has been crazy busy. Uh, I, that's one of the reasons why I don't pick up the camera because I'm always rushed in the morning. I get home 6.30, 7 o'clock at night and I'm just tired and I want to spend that time with my dogs or doing some... You know, today I'm, I've got some errands to run, but it was the first morning that I didn't feel like I needed to hurry and get out of the house and just breathe a little bit. It's actually the first day off that I've been able to do this because everything on Easter was, we spent Easter over at my daughter's in-law's house, which are our friends, and that was a really nice day. Happy Easter, you guys, for those of you that celebrate. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of been what's been going on, and I've been talking for almost 17 minutes now, and I haven't even left this spot. So just kind of what my world has been for the last few months um, I'm going to stop the camera now and in a little while I'll show you the bedroom furniture. Maybe I'll go out and show you the fencing area. Um, I, you know, clothing wise, I, you know, I used to do hauls and stuff. I've been buying from everywhere online, mainly online because there's no place to shop around me. You know, no place to shop. Maybe I'll insert some pictures at the very end of our cruise, you know, some, some pictures of, of that. Um, but yeah, so I will check back in just a little bit. Okay, so the lighting is really dark outside because it's getting ready to storm, but I figured I'd do the walkthrough real quick. This is the new bed. Um, it's, the, everything in the room is turning orange, and it's not orange. But this is the new bed. It's a four-poster bed. And I don't remember the name of the collection, but the color is called Sa uh, Fifth Avenue or something like that. Um, then here is my dresser. And then the nightstands, we did the dangle pulls for these. And the nightstands, we did the regular pulls. Um, they're a little larger than the ones we had before. I did get new lamps. It's hard to see. There we go. Then for here, try not to make you sick. This is what we're using as the TV stand. Um, this is the chest. And the two top drawers are individual drawers, but then the bottom three are long drawers with this, uh, the section in the middle. And this is the one that Adam and I share. A lot of our, like our bathing suits in there, things we don't years, use year round, our travel stuff all is in there. My concert tees are in there. Um, we got a new TV for up here because we took our old bedroom set downstairs to the basement to remake that room into a bedroom. Um, so we kept that furniture, but then we took the old TV downstairs and we got a new whatever the fancy thing is that Adam said that this TV was. I don't know. <clears throat> then this is Adam's tall dresser. There we go. Keep the dog beds over here. I don't leave them out during the day, but you know the vacuum comes in here and vacuums. But anyway, that's his dresser. And then he has the same matching nightstand that I have. Um, and I've shown this before. This is my new vanity that I got last, was it last year? I think I got it last year. Um, I just to me it blends with the room it's not the same as the other furniture we actually were originally going to get this furniture for the bedroom 
but I didn't like the color options. I didn't want it all light and I didn't want it all this orangey color. This is the mid-century modern and this is in the color stone, I think. But it works very well. It has all the storage I need and almost every single piece of makeup that I own is in these three drawers or in those two little things. I do have some backups, a little tiny bit of backup in my closet. Um, the rest of it all fits in here. I've purged a lot, gotten rid of a lot. Um, but that's my little setup where I get dressed every single morning. There's my indigo. Indigo, say hi. Can you say hi? Can you speak? There's my Jackson Bear. Hi, babies. <clears throat> this pollen is getting me. It is absolutely getting me. And there's my Dexter Meister. Say hi. Do you want to go show them your new play yard? Do you want to go show them your new play yard? Nothing's never been here. All of this has stayed the same since last year. on to the back porch. You gonna show them, Dexter? You gonna show them? Did plant some flowers and stuff. I don't know if you can see, um, we went with in the wooded area because we didn't want a hard fence line back there because we love the fact that we don't have any neighbors back there and we like seeing into our woods. So we went with a, I don't call it hog wire, I guess that's what it's called. There is a black fencing that attaches to my pool here and goes across. So this whole back area is a, we put pine straw down, but it's a sectioned area for the dogs to play. That's where we're gonna put the two banana trees, I believe, I'm not sure. Um, we need to work on the grass down here. I don't know what's happened. This is not from the dogs. This is just erosion over time, I guess. Let's see, let me take off my socks. Don't let me forget my socks out here, you guys. Let's go down. We'll go down. All right, let's go, let's go. Come on. Don't knock me down though. Everything's covered in pollen, including my lungs. You can see I'm gonna leave footprints down here. Everything's covered. We cover all of our furniture until I call it pollen season or yellow season until it's over. These have to be cut back. I'm getting real sick of these. We need to cover them every year from now on. We used to cover them and they'd stay green year round. And since we got lazy and quit covering them, this is what they do. We cut them back and then all summer we just have stumps. Um, he got a little bit frozen again when we dropped to 17, I think, this year. I don't think we went down to 7 like last year. But I think he's already got some green coming back. So when I get some green in there, I'll pull off those other fronds. But he's my favorite of my palm trees. But this will show you a little bit. So the fence goes to here and then the hog wire starts there. Um, but that's a nice big area for them. There's my compost bucket back there. They love having this extra place to run and play without mom and dad on top of them. But, and not just inside the pool area. We did all around all the palm trees. We put in a border, a thin border to keep because the red lava rock kept coming out into these pebbles and these pebbles kept going in there. So we just did this a couple weekends ago and I, I'm sure they're still going to get mixed up a little bit because of dogs, but it's not going to be as bad. They're not going to be spilling out as bad. All right. I'm coming. So we did the black metal fence up at the driveway and on the side behind the detached garage. So now my blueberry bushes hopefully will not be eaten by deer unless they decide to jump the fence, which is possible. Um, this is what they love to do. And when we got a freeze the other night, we did cover these. So I have lots of blooms and hopefully we'll have blueberries this year. I will still be competing with the birds and I don't mind sharing, but I want them to share with me as well. These are my bushes. Probably will plant another one here, although this one has made a baby, so maybe not. We will probably be planting some more there. We need to figure out, this is all roots. This is why things are not growing in my grass back here. Um, the little trees with the papers on them, that's a peach tree. That's a peach tree. And a plum tree. And you can see there's a gate back there so we can get back onto the rest of our property. But we own, you can't see any houses from here. And that's what I love. Even in the winter time with the no leaves on the trees, I love how private my backyard is. I mean, it's just, nobody can see us out here. And this is my favorite. 
This is my favorite place in the entire house. And this still needs a lot of work. I threw away the planters that were here. They were wooden and rotting. And then inside, I'm not gonna go in because I don't have any shoes on and this crusher rock hurts my feet or this paver rock, whatever you call it. But my lemon balm has come back. My strawberries all throughout here have come back. They were all over the place, I left them. And then all the little bitty green things inside here is chocolate mint. The first two are cucumbers. Back in the back corner is watermelon. And then I have a big bush and a big beef and a early bush or something. And then two of the yellow sweet cherry tomatoes. My chives are coming back. I still want to plant squash. Um, I'm sorry, my brain just stopped. I'm hoping, I'm, my, I'm gonna bring jalapenos back and then behind this, which is the best way to go, my new little garden flag. This I haven't even started with yet, but I gotta pull, I gotta clean all of this out. Let me pull you back. Wrong way, Heather. I have two small blackberry bushes back here that hopefully will get some growing this year as long as I can, don't have to compete with squirrels, which is a good possibility. But I had a net over this the last year and it just was not working out for me. So I yanked all that down this past weekend and I'll be planting some more stuff back here. That's probably 10 foot by five foot in this little area. What are you, Dexter, come here. But this way they can't get out into the woods unless I want them to, which they do love running through the woods. Um, we have some ravines and whatnot back there, but it keeps them in place and more area to play and it allows us to have a little bit more freedom than just standing with them all of the time outside so anywho that has been what we've been up to i've planted new flowers on my front porch in the pot next to my detached garage um what else have we done the fence was the big thing because it's it's given us so much more freedom out here so this is what it from the back side. I'm not going to go up to the front of the house, but that's at the end of our driveway. We have a pretty long driveway, but that's at the end of the driveway. And that's the only house that actually can see into our yard, thankfully, but he can't see into my backyard. All right. Check back in a minute. So I don't know if I gave an update on my basement. I know last year we did some changing down here and I did get a new rug. This is a ruggable. I love ruggables. When you have dogs, you need to be able to wash all of your rugs. And then new artwork. This is all about beer brewing because my husband brews beer. We did bring a plant down and just try to spruce up the basement a little bit. That's the pool room, the wet bar because Adam brews and we have our own beer and hard cider on tap here. Um, I mentioned that I ha um, that we moved all of my bedroom furniture from upstairs down to the basement bedroom because we cleared it out to start our business. There's my gem. I know people have been asking. This is my gem. I need to be in here more. A lot more. Um, but let me just take a peek in here real quick. No, I'm not going to show you that right now. Um, we do have someone staying with us for a short period of time. She's a little bit down on her luck right now. Whoop. So we're trying to help her out a little bit until she can get on her feet. Um, so she's staying in that room. And then I told you my husband brews. This is, I mean, obviously we have our coolers set up down here because we were using them. But this is his brewing setup. And he brews about three kegs at a time. And this year, he's promised me a gluten-free beer so I could enjoy it. Because I don't really like... Well, my drink of choice is going to be De Serona and Diet Coke. It's what I drank a lot of on the cruise. All right, let me pause you because it's going to be dark going up the stairs. All right, and I showed you the plant downstairs in the basement. Um, it used to be up here in my dining room, and it just felt too heavy for this room. So we did buy a smaller olive tree, faux olive tree. I did get this one from Pottery Barn. Um, I just really like it. I like having something in that corner and it's just not as heavy as the other one, but that's my dining room. And then I want to show you the potted plants I did on the front porch. Stay. So last weekend I made these bring a little bit of spring color out here. 
There they are looking through the window. Can you see them right there? And then I had this neat little, I don't know what you call it, hurricane lamp. And I just added some faux tulips inside of it. But yeah. It feels a little springier out here. I have a large planter out in my island. Um, all this walking around, I'm going to be breathing heavy in a second. Everything's moist. I hate that word. Whew. Here we go. So I did plant these. And so far, the deer have left them alone. And my wisteria tree. Now, wisteria is not necessarily a tree. It's actually like a vine. You have to train it to be a tree. And that's what we've been doing for the last like five or six years. And it's starting to bloom. You can see the little purple blooms in here. This will get real heavy. And it just has to be, you have to keep pulling the vines that grow across the ground out and trimming it up and all. It's still pretty short, but, and I showed y'all last year that we painted our house. We went much darker than we were before. Let me get back on the grass. And you know, uh, not too long ago, somebody was asking what pine straw was. This is pine straw. We use this as a ground cover down here because we have a lot of pine trees. And instead of mulch or bark, we use pine straw most of the time because it covers really well and it's a whole lot less expensive than mulch or bark. And I have one other little planter. I did put some pine straw up at the mailbox. I need to change my little bunny sign, All right, my little flag out here because Easter is over. This is from the other side. We added some stepping stones here because this area gets real soft when it rains. So this now allows us to get back to the wood pile for our fireplace during the winter time. Have our little planter here. And these are stepping stones from when my kids were little. Well, this one's 2022. There's my son's handprint. And then over on this side is my daughter's handprint from the same year. And then a few years ago, and well, it's been 10 years now, it's since 2014, this is my granddaughter Sophia's footprints. And then this is the top, from the top at the, at the house, it's a double gate, so it's eight feet, so our lawn people can get their lawn equipment through here without an issue. So yeah. That, I think, is everything updated. So most of it, good most of it happy um some of it horrendously sad um and again if you wouldn't mind sending some healing prayers for my niece and i guess the words that it's acceptance you know i don't know how you accept that so sorry light changes hey hey no we're not going out here we're not going out here meet you back in but yeah it's, it's being able to accept her new life her new reality you know she says smells trigger her she keeps finding her drawings around the house I just I can't even fathom having to go through that as a mother I don't I don't know how you move forward so if you'll send some healing thoughts and prayers her way, I would greatly appreciate it. So I'm gonna end this vlog, I guess, on this note. Um, maybe at some point, I'll pull out some of the new clothes that I've purchased, I've got more coming. Um, and once we get the banana trees planted, I'll show you those. I'm hoping, they're supposed to grow in our zone without any issue. Um, and I really wonder if they taste like vanilla ice cream. We go through a lot of bananas in the house. I, drink, I eat a half a banana every single day. So we kind of need to have some of our own stuff that we grow on our own. Plus it's another kind of tropical plant for outside. We still have a little more yard work to do to get the pool ready. Um, it's April, it's not quite pool season yet, but my granddaughter always likes to have her birthday here and that's in May. So we have to have the backyard perfect for that. Um, but yeah, so maybe, Maybe I'd be able to find some time here to do like a what's new in my closet type of video. And yeah, yeah. 
that's it. Hopefully I have time to edit this and get this up today. I hope you all are doing well. I'm sorry it's been so long, but this is just when it worked for me. And I hope you guys are having a very happy spring and going into summer that you're safe and you're happy and you're, everything's going well in your lives. And I appreciate you spending some time with me today and we will talk soon. Bye guys. Have a happy day.